Yo, do you want to know what blank t-shirts I'll be using in 2023? Let's talk about it. Fat Man Scoop, Brooke McClam. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching the Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. He taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you got to do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Fat Man Scoop, Big Brando. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Boy Big Brando, and today let's talk about my top three or top four blank t shirts I'll be using in 2023. Now, as most of you guys know, this I've been using the All Style 1701 for years four years that's been my go-to blank t-shirt i've also used a few others pro club heavyweight something that i've always kept on stock all style 1301 is another thing that i always kept in stock they all serve a different purpose they all have a different customer base for them but sadly all style did this weird rebranding thing when they were bought out by gildan gildan also owned american apparel then they rebranded the all style t-shirts or the all style 1701 and 1301 under American Apparel, and now it's just hard to find any of those t-shirts, period. So in doing my own research, I found some alternatives to use in the meantime, one of them being the Next Level Ideal T. I don't remember the actual model number, but it was called the Ideal T. This was a very good alternative to the 1701. Almost same fit, it was cut a little bit different, but the feel was the same, the collar was the same, in my own opinion. Now for the 1301, my alternative was the Pro Club Comfort, same feel, Almost same fit, different collar, but nevertheless, good option. Now things change, people change, people's preference change. We as the business owners have to be able to adapt. So going into the new year, for all the brands that I run, even my big Brando merch, the complaint department stuff, all of that stuff will no longer be on the 1701. And I'll only be stocking up on Pro Club Heavyweight, Pro Club Comfort, AS Color Classic, and the other AS Color Basic. I think that's what the name is. So basically just gonna be using two different companies, Pro Club, AS Color. Once again, these blank t-shirts serve different purposes. They serve different target audiences. You guys already know this, I'm from Los Angeles. Pro Club heavyweight t-shirts is a staple around here. They sell them at liquor stores. They sell them at the t-shirt warehouse. They sell them at the swap meets. They sell them everywhere. Pro Club is a household name here in Los Angeles. Pro Club heavyweight for my target audience sells itself. For the customers, of that brand when i say i print on pro club they know their size they know the fit the feel they know how it washes they know everything about that t-shirt it helps sell that t-shirt does that mean that you have to go out and buy pro club heavyweight if your customer base isn't into heavyweight t-shirts i would not recommend it but this blank t-shirt has its own cult following here in los angeles southern california in general people know what a pro club t-shirt is now to replace my all style 1301s that I used to keep on hand here, Pro Club Comfort is gonna fill that void for me. Throughout this year, I've been testing out a lot of different t-shirts with my clients and customers, just to see what the reaction is, just to see if that transition would work. And the Pro Club Comfort was a perfect match and perfect transition for the All Style 1301. Those clients and those customers like the fit and feel of that shirt. I've been testing it out throughout this year and the transition has been smooth. That phased out the 1301 for me completely. If you use 1301s, I would say look into the Pro Club Comfort T-shirts. Now I say all that because Pro Club is located here in Gardena. For myself, it makes freight and shipping that much easier for me to be able to pick up my own order. Their warehouse is here in Gardena. That's why I use them. Convenience is key for myself. A lot of you guys might not have that luxury and I understand that, but I'm just giving you the idea on why I use certain blanks and choose certain companies. A bunch of people will be like, well, why don't you use this company? Why don't you use this company? I use what makes sense for myself. And being able to walk into the Pro Club warehouse and pick up my order here is a no-brainer for myself. Now, next up is AS Color. AS Color Classic is going to be my go-to t-shirt. But it's a lot more expensive than the 1701. It doesn't fit like the 1701. It doesn't feel like the 1701. But what I've noticed is the fit and feel of the AS Color Classic t-shirt is liked by a lot of people. So all of my complaint department stuff, my big Brando stuff, all of that will be printed on these AS Color shirts, the classic t-shirt. 
Now to replace the 1701 because there are some of my clients that I print for that love the 1701, I will be using the AS Color Basic. It's either basic or staple. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, if we're going based off of like tiers, it's like the classic is up top, and then I think it's staple, and then I think basic, or maybe basic and staple are switched up. Whatever the middle one is, the people that I used to print for that love the 1701 enjoy the AS color, that middle tier, basic or staple. I think it's like a $5 blank. I can't remember the exact price, but that one has a similar fit. The feel's different. The AS color is a lot softer. Maybe it's lighter, but I know it's a whole lot softer. So the people that enjoyed the 1701 and they like that, they like the thin collar, but still tight collar. That shirt is what a lot of people gravitated towards. I was gonna go with the Next Level t-shirt, but now Next Level is getting hard to find. The Ideal T and Next Level is right here in Gardena also. They have a warehouse right here, and that's why I was really leaning towards them. But getting that Ideal model is hard to find for myself. So I need consistency and I need quality. AS Color, right here in Carson very close to myself and I could pick up my order whenever I place it. I could place it in the morning and pick it up in the afternoon, easy call. So just to wrap this whole thing up, I personally will not be using the 1701 and 1301 anymore because it's hard to find those. Whether Gildan is planning on rebranding it again or maybe they're just phasing them out, period. Or maybe it's supply chain issues, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but this whole year with the rebranding and things changing and all this stuff, it just made it easier for myself to start now earlier this year and start phasing those t-shirts out of my shop and getting my customers and clients used to something else and make the transition that much easier because it's very hard to just drop out of nowhere and be like hey you know what i no longer get 1701 but these are my new options that i'm using and then they're like wait wait a minute man these feel different look different what happened to the old shirts so in order to minimize that confusion with me and my clients and customers, I started to offer these t-shirts slowly and surely with them so they could get used to them, they could feel them, they could let me know if they like them or if they don't like them. Then I can make a better educated decision for my business on what to stock and what to keep on hand. And on top of that, convenience is key. All Style left Anaheim. They went to somewhere else, like in the Inland Empire somewhere that was like two, three hours away from myself and made it no longer easy to pick up my order. So since then, there was a big issue with freight. If I wanted to order a bunch of them, like pallet loads, I would have to go through a different distribution center that's located here in Compton. But like I said, I would have to order in huge amounts. Sometimes I just need like 120 t-shirts and I just wanna drive and pick up that order. So going through Pro Club and AS Color has been a very, very easy commute for myself. So I don't have to pay for shipping and freight and all that stuff or wait for UPS to deliver something or FedEx to deliver something. I just go and pick it up myself, you know what I mean? So hopefully this information helps somebody out. You don't have to use the same blanks I use. If you use different blanks or if you have reservations on the blanks I use, that's fine. You are probably not my target audience when it comes to blank t-shirts. I buy what my customers like. I use what my customers like to make the sell that much easier on myself. Just because you use a different blank t-shirt or your blank t-shirt costs this much, that's cool. Continue to use what works for you. I use what works best for me. Consistency and convenience play a big role in the blanks that I use. Convenience, picking up my order from somewhere right down the street from me. That is convenient for myself. Probably not for you, but for myself it is. Consistency is availability, making sure that those t-shirts are always in stock and here so I don't have a hard time re-upping or stocking my inventory or looking for certain colors and doing stuff. And having a good quality t-shirt that I could stand behind and that my clients and customers love. All right, hopefully this information helps somebody out. Hopefully this gets everybody that was using the all style t-shirts for their brands to figure out different alternatives if you haven't by now, because I'm pretty sure it was hard for you to start looking for t-shirts or finding 1301s and 1701s also. And you found a few alternatives. Those are my alternatives. The AS color, staple or basic, sorry, I don't remember exactly which one it is, but it's one of those, replaced my 1701 and Pro Club Comfort replaced my 1301s. And for anybody buying anything Big Brando related in the following year, it will be printed on AS Color Classic. 
Like I said, it's an expensive blank, but I love the fit, feel, and it's a lot softer too. It's a heavyweight t-shirt, but it is way softer than anything else that I've ever felt in a heavyweight t-shirt, which is cool. I don't know if you guys like soft t-shirts, but in my old age, I like the way a softer fit feeling t-shirt feels against this big brown body. All right. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, Big Brando TV. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yeah.